one of my readers asked me about my schedule of content creation. So I'll share that with you in this video. And more importantly, I'll share with you the principles behind my schedule so that maybe you can create your own content creation schedule or, or, or maybe even improve it if it's helpful. So um, the first thing I do is on a Tuesday or Wednesday, sometime in the middle of the week, I will take half an hour to plan my content for the following week. Uh, and as you might know, if you've been following my content, I do three videos per week, three new videos per week. And along with those three videos, I write a blog post each. So three new videos and three new blog posts each week. So during my half an hour of content planning, I will think ahead to think, okay, say, what topic is, uh, um, you know, important, alive, energizing, for my clients right now or for, for my business that I think is going to be helpful for my audience as well. I These days I actually think ahead to the next book I'm writing and to say is there anything that's still missing from that book I'm writing that I want to talk about and because I use these pieces of videos and blog posts as chapters for my future books. So again, the first step is to plan the content. Uh, a couple days before I actually do the content. So on a Tuesday or Wednesday for half an hour, I plan the content for the following week. And then the next step is that I record these videos and I do them on Friday afternoon. This is Friday afternoon right now. Um, and the reason for Friday afternoon is because my wife has some availability and so uh, she and I go to a, a nearby park where she can watch my dog buddy as he runs around and I have the freedom to make these videos for you. So on Friday afternoon, I make the three videos for the coming week. Next, what I do is on a Saturday or Sunday, I'll take about 15 minutes to download my videos from my phone because I'm using my phone to make these and then I'll upload them to YouTube for processing. And once it processes, which takes, uh, you know, about half an hour or so, I will use YouTube's uh, editor, very basic things, to, you know, maybe adjust the brightness a little bit or uh, stabilize the, you know, YouTube can stabilize the video right from YouTube itself. So I'll click the stabilize button so that it looks smooth rather than jar jarring. And, uh, and then once that processes, I will then download the YouTube video that's been processed but stabilized and I'll upload that to Facebook. So that's all done. It takes about 15 to 30 minutes for the entire process. There's some waiting in between where I'll go do other things. And so now comes the, the, main, the main thing, which is on Monday, Wednesday and Friday mornings, um, between 7 a.m. and 9 a.m. is when I write my blog posts and along with my blog posts I will then up I will then publish the video for the day as well Monday Wednesday Friday now I don't actually write for two hours the key is that I take a lot of breaks in, in between those that two hour of writing so that I can continue to let my creative you know, mind, get new ideas, get refinement of ideas as I write. So for example, I'll start writing at 7 a.m. for about 20 minutes. Just start, start the draft of the blog post of the day. Just kind of get as many, as many words as I can out there on, on the screen. And then I'll go and do some breathing, deep breathing outside for just a few minutes, do my energy reboot so that I'm, you know, feeling grounded and connected. And then, you know, at 725, I come back and do 20 more minutes of writing. So now it's 745 and 745, I then again, get up from the computer and go and prepare breakfast, bring the breakfast to the computer. I eat while I basically edit the article or maybe continue finishing the article, finishing writing. So I finish breakfast and finish the draft of the article, the blog post at about something like 8.15, 8.20 a.m. And then I go take a 20 minute nap. 
So now 8.40 a.m. I wake up from my nap and I will edit the blog post and share it on Facebook, put it on medium.com, put it on LinkedIn, uh, you know, the, the places where I do social media. Now you don't have to do all these different things. You can just focus on one social media if you like. But the, the, the principle behind it is that when I write, I don't just sit there and write until I'm done. I get up multiple times to, uh, the, the principle behind it is uh, when, when our bodies move, so do our brains. And so it's the benefit of when you get up, move around, just I, for me anyway, inevitably new ideas come and the article gets better uh, than if I were just to sit in one place, body still writing for two hours or whatever. So, um, so this is what you're seeing now. You're seeing the video along with the blog post. Those of you who don't know, if you're watching on YouTube, there's a blog post below the, in the description area of the video. Those on, on Facebook, it might be located above the video, whatever. So uh, I hope that's helpful. The idea, the principle behind it, I've already talked about the frequent movement helps me be more creative as I write the blog post. But in terms of the, um, the, the additional breaks, notice that I have a planning time, you know, and then I take a couple days to let my just my subconscious work on it before I do the actual video. And then I take a couple more days before I write the actual blog post associated with the video, you see. So there's always that break time that allows my subconscious to be creative uh, before I finish the final product. And the other very important principle is that there's always some kind of a deadline. So on Friday afternoons, right, I, my wife doesn't have forever. I have about 45 minutes to make these three videos, about 15 minutes per video. I might do two or three takes. Each video might be like three to seven minutes, something like that, right? Um, so there's a deadline for making the videos. And then secondly, for writing the, writing the blog post, there's a deadline from 7 to 9 a.m. because 9 a.m. is usually when I start my client calls. So I have to get it done by 9 a.m. because otherwise the, the rest of the day is like client calls and things like that. So I hope this is helpful. Always open to your questions. Thank you uh, to, to the person who asked me to share my content schedule. And I will see you in the next video.